I don't know if you've noticed, but I've started doing shorts. And it's been fun. I've gained a bunch of new subscribers, but I've also lost a bunch. To which I say, why? Are they really that bad? How dare you? Today's drink comes from the fiery depths of TikTok, from a user known as thirstywhale underscore underscore. And depending on your tolerance for extroversion, you may find his videos something of an acquired taste. Piggy Negroni! But there's one thing that's undeniable. He's quite talented when it comes to drinks. Also, based on his numbers, he has absolutely nothing to learn from me when it comes to TikTok. Bruh. But yeah, Mr. Whale underscore underscore came to my attention when a viewer sent me a video of his for a Tiki Negroni. And we all love Negronis, but how does one tiki -fy it? Well, Mr. Underscore underscore has come up with rather creative ways to adulterate all three base ingredients. And when I saw his video on this, I had to try it. So will it be more than the sum of its parts, or a bunch of tropical juice that isn't worth the proverbial squeeze? Before we find out, we need to mixology ourselves some ingredients. First up is vermouth. Sorry, meant to say banana vermouth. Peel a spotty banana and add one and a half cups of sweet vermouth. Next, you eat the banana! Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Cover and refrigerate for 24 hours. Next ingredient we need to franken tiki is Campari, and we're gonna fat wash this baby with coconut oil. Combine one and a half cups of Campari, four ounces of coconut oil, and give it a good shake. Let it sit at room temperature for four hours, then put it in the freezer overnight. And that leaves gin. While there are a handful of classic tropical drinks that utilize gin, it ain't the most tiki ingredient out there, but we all know what is. For this, the Thirstmaster recommends Plantation Pineapple, which is fine product, but I'm quite familiar with the flavor profile having drank my body weight of the stuff. So why not take a rum and infuse it with pineapple? To make this as accessible as possible, I'm not even going to use fresh pineapple. Just make sure you use something that isn't soaking in syrup. First strain the juice into something so we can use it later, then dump the entire can of pineapple chunks into something sealable that holds a quart. Next, add 12 ounces of everyone's favorite gateway rum. Say it with me, Smith & Cross. Cover and let it sit overnight. At the appropriate times, harvest your ingredients. The rum shouldn't need more than a fine strain, and make sure to save the boozy pineapple chunks. The Campari turned out to be a bit of a problem. After fiddling my camera through not one, not two, but three angles to find one I liked, I finally managed to remove the fat cap without making a mess and strained my fat-washed Campari. There was only one problem. It didn't taste like coconut, and I know why. One fresh jar of coconut oil to the rescue. The previous jar had been in my kitchen for I don't know how long and didn't impart any coconut flavor, so I knew I'd have to make another batch. Back to square one. Campari, one and a half cups. Coconut oil, four ounces. Shake, rest for four hours, then freeze overnight. And just smelling this, I can tell it came out better. Here, have a whiff. Just kidding. Remove the fat cap, strain, move to a clean vessel, and finally, taste. And this, friends, was the real deal. The coconut flavor just pops and tastes great with Campari. Thankfully, the vermouth was as low maintenance as low maintenance gets. And to keep the drink as cold as possible for as long as possible, I'm storing all three ingredients in the fridge. We are now ready to build this. To a chilled rocks glass, add an ounce each of banana sweet vermouth, coconut fat washed Campari, and pineapple Smith & Cross. Give it a quick stir and top with crushed ice. Garnish with nutmeg, rum soaked pineapple chunks, and pineapple fronds. You've got to be kidding me. I seriously cannot put into words how good this is. The pineapple, coconut, and banana are all front and center, but this is still unmistakably a rum negroni. Also, you get tasty boozy snacks at the end. Thirsty Will underscore underscore, this drink is brilliant, and I have a ton of respect for you. I'm still not convinced you're not my cousin Quinn, though. Seriously, you have to give this one a go. It's a masterpiece. If you liked it at like, consider subscribing if you haven't already, and if there's something you think I should try, let me know in the comments. Cheers. Turn camera.